If you're ready to make the leap from ballpoint pens to fountain pens, there are a few things you should know. In this video, we'll cover four differences between ballpoint pens and fountain pens to keep in mind. Before we get started, check out our beginner-friendly guides and videos. They're especially helpful for anyone who's completely new to fountain pens or needs a refresher. You can find all of them in the description below. Let's get right into it. 1. Fountain pens and ballpoint pens use different inks. Fountain pens and ballpoint pens don't just have different pen tips, they use completely different inks. Fountain pens use water-based inks, while ballpoint pens use oil-based inks. Water-based inks generally take longer to dry and smear when exposed to water. However, many manufacturers have formulated inks to be quick drying or waterproof to work around these characteristics. Fountain pen inks can also come in a huge range of colors, and some even have special effects like sheen or dual shading. Oil-based inks, on the other hand, are always quick drying and waterproof. Unfortunately, they can have a very limited color range. Few ballpoint pens come in shades other than black, blue, and red. Two, fountain pens don't work on every paper. Oil-based and water-based inks don't perform the same either. Certain kinds of paper, like glossy photo paper or thermal receipt paper, don't absorb water-based inks well. Instead, the ink sits on the surface of the paper and has nowhere to go. Oil-based inks don't need to be absorbed into paper fibers to dry, so they write well on coated papers. We recommend keeping a ballpoint pen on hand in case you need to write on paper that doesn't work with your fountain pens. Use your fountain pens with high-quality paper, like Rhodia, Midori MD, or Tomoe River, to get the most out of them. 3. Fountain pens are usually held differently from ballpoint pens. A ballpoint pen is usually held nearly perpendicular to the paper. That's because a ballpoint's tip is made up of a small revolving ball that is held in place by a cone. As the ball is dragged along the paper, it rotates and applies ink to the surface. When the pen is held at too low of an angle, the edge of the cone drags against the paper and can feel scratchy. A fountain pen, on the other hand, should be held at a 45 degree angle. Some people naturally hold their pens a little higher, and it's okay if your pen is writing well. However, if the pen's flow feels a little dry, you can try holding the pen lower to see if it helps. Additionally, while a ballpoint pen's spherical tip means that you can rotate it as you write, a fountain pen's nib must be oriented with its slit and breather hole facing up. 4. Fountain pens need less pressure to write. Ballpoint ink is thick and viscous. Compared to fluid fountain pen ink, Ballpoint ink is more like a paste. Its consistency means that you have to press down on the ballpoint's tip to get the pen to make any marks. Writers who struggle with hand cramps could be applying too much pressure as they write. Fountain pens are meant to write with much less pressure. In fact, many fountain pens will write with a mere brush of the nib against the paper. If the tines are visibly spreading as you write, you're pressing too hard. Try to write with as little pressure as needed to get ink to flow. Five, fountain pens need more maintenance than ballpoint pens. If you find a ballpoint pen and try scribbling with it, chances are it'll start writing again. However, if you pick up a fountain pen that hasn't been used in a while, it might take a minute for the ink to flow or it could be completely dry. Using a fountain pen regularly ensures that its ink flows through the feed and stays fluid. Additionally, fountain pens should be cleaned periodically. If you plan on switching ink colors, 
Clean the pen first to make sure you don't contaminate the new color. Even if you fill a pen with the same ink over and over again, give it a flush every once in a while to make sure it continues to run smoothly. You can watch our video to learn how to clean your fountain pen. What fountain pen should I get? Before you add your first fountain pen to your shopping cart, there are a few things to consider. Start with cartridge filling pens because they're the easiest to use. You simply pop in a cartridge and wait for the ink to flow to the nib. Many cartridge filling pens are also compatible with converters. So you can start to use bottled inks with your pens too. As you become more experienced with fountain pens, you can try all the other filling systems they have to offer, such as pistons and vacuums. Next, pick out an inexpensive pen that won't break the bank. If you find that fountain pens just aren't for you, a luxury pen will feel like a waste. Thankfully, there are many budget-friendly pens that are suitable for students, professionals, and everyone in between. For starters, the Platinum Preppy is under $10 and has a fantastic nib that comes in three different sizes. Extra fine, fine, and medium. You can also get a converter if you want to branch out and try different inks. A plastic pen might not stand up to the knocks of everyday life though. For a pen that's durable and budget-friendly, we wholeheartedly recommend the Pilot Metropolitan. Its brass body comes in a variety of sophisticated and fun colors. It also comes with a converter, so you can start using bottled inks right away. Need more options? Read our guide on the best beginner fountain pens to see our other picks. If you went from ballpoint pens to fountain pens, what surprised you about the switch? Let us know in the comments below. You can shop all the items shown in this video at jetpens.com. If you've ever been or seen the gel pen, which is sort of a kind of a ballpoint pen, we'll get to that in a different video. Subscribe, please. A fountain pen, on the other hand, <clears throat> the other hand, because we use hands, <laughs> the fountain. <laughs> This amazing joke that has us laughing on the... Wait, you want me to get rid of it? Oh, okay. Compared to fluid fountain pen ink, the ballpoint ink is more like a paste. I said that with like such disgust. It's more like a paste. Thanks for watching.